Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another Mornings with the Masters, where we devote ourselves to the Lord daily with you. Today is day two of the I Call on Your Name devotional series and the Bible app plan. I am excited to jump in. Yesterday's episode, if you missed it, go back. It really blessed my heart and got me really excited. So let's see what it has for us day two. This is what it says. I will call on your name. The verse is Lamentations 3, 55 through 57. It says this. I called on your name, Lord. From the depths of the pit, you heard my plea. Do not close your ears to my cry for relief. You came near when I called you and you said, do not fear. In times of trouble and panic, who you gonna call? Ghostbusters? Probably not. (laughs) But the page on the Contacts app where it says favorites are my go-to people. Easy to get a hold of. They know me. They wouldn't be phased about anything. They would drop everything if I really needed them. Those are my people. We may not have God's digits. We may not be able to FaceTime him. We may not be able to send him emojis or five-minute voice memos. But we do have a direct line to him. A hotline. It's called prayer. This sort of communication isn't where you have to put your pennies in the phone box. You don't have to check the time difference to not wake him up. He's not taking holiday leave. He doesn't switch to airplane mode at night. Prayer is open and available 24 hours, seven days a week, midnight, morning, breakfast time, afternoon, coffee time, sunset, late at night. Through Jesus, we can speak to God, and not just for an emergency, but all the time. And we get the privilege of this because we are His children. Make use of this hotline. Take advantage of being in the two-way communication with the Creator of the universe, both speaking to God in prayer and listening to His words. How special. Psalm 145, 18, the Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. Isn't that just amazing? In times of trouble, fear, panic, worry, the need for direction, or even joy and delight, we can speak to him and pray to him. We can't forget that. Communication is vital in relationships and especially with God. For me, there have been many times where I have been stifled by fear, many times at night not feeling I can even move. In these moments, I know that only one thing can shift the atmosphere, can shift my perspective, can shake me out, and that is calling on the name of Jesus. It's all I can say sometimes, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. I know that simply saying and calling on his name changes everything. I love the song Tremble, where the lyrics are, Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus, you silence fear. It's so true. Sing it over yourself. I don't have to say an elaborate, long-winded monologue to get everything across. In those moments, I know that just saying his name is enough. His name is powerful, beautiful, name above all names, strong and mighty. John 14, 6, Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So today, Call on the name of Jesus because he hears you. Call on the name of Jesus because he is near. Call on the name of Jesus because he is the comforter. Call on the name of Jesus because he is bigger than all your fears. Amen. I love that. 
I Love It one because Trimble is like one of my favorite songs ever. And I remember being in a very similar season where I just played that song on repeat and repeat and repeat. And I also have been in seasons where I'm like, Lord, I literally don't know what to say. So I'm just going to call on your name, Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. The fact that darkness trembles when you state the name of Jesus, when you call on the name of Jesus, you say in the name of Jesus, you must flee. The enemy must flee. How crazy is that? Like genuinely, if you could just meditate on that today, the power that is in the name of Jesus, how it will move and shake your life, it's so good. I think about it often, people who don't believe in Jesus, but if you say the name of Jesus, there's something that happens in them. But if you were to say like Buddha to me, nothing happens. There's not power in the name of Buddha. There's not power in the name of any other God, little g, God. Let me just put that right there. But there is power in the name of Jesus. Even just think about what it does in you when you say the name of Jesus. Does joy start to rise? Does shame start to leave? Does contentment set in? What happens? Maybe journal through that today. Like, when you just say the name of Jesus, what does that do for your spirit? What does it do? It's so exciting. All right, let's pray real quick. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you that we get to pray. We thank you, Jesus, for what you did on the cross, that you died and you rose again so that we could be in direct communication with you. What a sacrifice, what a privilege that we get to talk to you. Lord, we love you. We thank you for all that you have done for us, for all that you continue to do in us, Father, and for all the things that you want to do for your kingdom through us, that you want to use us. Lord, I pray that we would be vessels for you, Father, that we would shine on hilltops, that we would be set apart. Father, that people, when they see us, they really see you, that our life would be a living reflection of who you are, that through our life, people would be drawn into your presence, Father. Would you give us an eternal mindset today, Father, that we would be able to see you, hear you, and feel you in ways that we haven't before. Lord, would you move our heart? Would you transform our heart, Father, to look more and more and more like you with each day that passes? Father, we pray these things in your name. Jesus, amen. Ah, so good. I love it. I love him. I love y'all. This is a perfect time to just break out the worship music, pray, journal, spend time with him. Don't forget that you are his masterpiece and we will see you tomorrow for day three of this plan. So excited and pretty sure that's it. <laughs> Avita Zane.